Hey guys, I'm Architect Jojo Madatu and welcome back to another episode of our Dialects Masterclass Quick Tips Tutorial. On this week's episode, we are going to create patterns without using any third-party software and I'm going to show you on how I created the design of these wood lattice panels by simply using the copy and arrange functions on the furniture tab and do the subtraction method. So here's the design of the wood lattice panel and we are going to recreate this using the elevation drawing. And I've already recreated the typical design of the subtraction objects and let's move these objects outside the panel for now. Now if you have noticed the design of the panels, the first panel on the left side it has a simple repetitive design while the second panel it has a random pattern and the third panel, it's just a duplicate from the first panel. And let's start recreating the first panel that has a simple design. And let's do first the round objects. Now let's select the round object and go to the furniture tab and click on the draw rectangular arrangement. And let's draw this arrangement. Now let's count how many round objects on the y-axis and how many round objects on the x-axis. That's actually 2 on the x-axis and then 13 on the y-axis. Now there are three types of the alignment. The first alignment where the objects are equally distributed or distance within the center of the field of the arrangement. The second type of the alignment where the objects are equally distributed from the edges of the first object and the last object. While the third type of the alignment where the objects are equally distributed from the center of the first object and the last object. Now I would prefer using the second type of the alignment so that I could easily edit the arrangement between the edges of the objects. Now let's do the same method onto the other objects. Let's probably do this object. Now let's select that object and go to the furniture tab and click on draw rectangular arrangement and let's draw the rectangular arrangement. Now let's count how many objects on the y-axis and how many objects on the x-axis. That's actually 3 on the x-axis and then 14 on the y-axis. And don't forget to select the second type of alignment. Now let's edit this arrangement between the edges of the objects. And yet again, just do the same method onto the other objects. Now, after recreating these patterns, let's do the subtraction method. Okay, here's the tricky part. You cannot directly subtract an object arrangement onto the other object because there will be no option. Now, what you can do is that when you select an object arrangement, Reselect again yet an object inside that arrangement and then select any other object. Now if you go to the cup and arrange tab, the boolean operations will show up. Now let's select all the other subtraction objects. Let's go to the furniture tab and let's select all the other subtraction objects. Now let's select that wood panel, the object to be subtracted. Hold shift. Now let's go to the cup and arrange tab and let's do the subtraction. Now we are done with the first panel and you've seen how I recreated these patterns. Onto the second panel, I'm not going to recreate this. I will leave it to you guys to do this and use the method that I did on the first panel. And practice using the draw and arrange function on the furniture tab. And I'm going to share with you the CAD file of this wood lattice panel, so feel free to download on the link written in the description below. Now, if you have noticed the pattern design of the second panel, it's quite random, but if you try to observe it, it's actually a group of pattern design similar to the other groups. 
just recreate the first group of patterns and then just duplicate it onto the other groups. And just try to observe the series of the patterns and play around with the rectangular, polygonal, or circular, or line arrangement and do the subtraction method later on. So that's it guys, I hope that you have learned something new on this tutorial and if you are excited on to our next episode, feel free to subscribe and click that notification bell to get real-time updates on the upcoming episode of our Dialax Masterclass. I'll see you. So, if you want to learn, master, and create reality with your lighting simulations, you can watch our series of video tutorials onto our Patreon accounts. Links are written on the description below. You can follow our social media accounts. Feel free to subscribe and click that notification bell to get real-time updates on the upcoming episodes of our Xylax Masterclass. I'll see you.